Hello children, today in literacy we're learning to predict the next part of the story. So I would like you to read the story to where the gingerbread man has reached the lake. We are going to be predicting the next part of the story. This is when you're going to have a little think about what is going to happen next and how do you think the gingerbread man is feeling. I'm going to show you an example of what I think is going to happen next and I'm going to be using full sentences. I think the gingerbread man is feeling worried and scared because he does not know how to swim through the lake and I think the fox is going to be very kind and help him swim through the lake. Did you see how I used because in my full sentences? I would like you to now have a think about what you think is going to happen next and how do you think the gingerbread man is feeling. Do you think you can predict the next part of the story? Off you go. Excellent job in predicting the next part of the story. I would now like you to draw the next part of your story and then can you label the characters, so the fox and the gingerbread man? We are now going to draw the next part of our story. So the next part of my story was the wolf swimming through the lake with the gingerbread man. So I'm going to draw a lake. I'm now going to draw the fox, so two ears, a face, two eyes, dot for his nose, then I'm going to draw two legs, a body, and another two legs, and his bushy tail. And then on top of him, I'm going to draw the gingerbread man. So the gingerbread man's head, two arms and two legs and two eyes, dot for his nose and a mouth. We are now going to label the characters in our drawing. So we've got a fox and a gingerbread man. So I'm going to label the fox. So I'm going to draw a arrow coming out of the fox. And now we're going to sound out fox. Are you ready? R, X. How many sounds are there? Well done if you said there were three sounds. Our first sound is can you look through on the sound chart? Fantastic work. So down the stem and draw the leaves. Ox. Hmm. What's the next sound? Can you find it on the sound chart? Well done if you said it's off and it's right here. So all around the orange. Our last sound is X. Can you look for it on the sound chart? Well done. So down the arm and leg and repeat on the other side. We are now going to label our gingerbread man. I'm going to draw an arrow coming out my gingerbread man. And now I'm going to sound out his name. So first we're going to sound out the word gingerbread and then we're going to sound out man. Are you ready? J, E, N, J. Er, b, er, ed. 
How many sounds are there? Fantastic, if you said there are eight sounds. Our first sound is J. Let's look around that sound chart. Well done. So down, his body, curl and dot. J, E, N, J, R, B, R, E, D. What's our next sound? Hmm. Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic, if you said it was I, and here it is on our sound chart. So down his body and a dot for his head. Our next sound is N, can you find it on the sound chart? Well done. So down, knobby, over his net. We've got j, i, n, j, r. Hmm, what's our next sound? Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic if you said it was J and it's right here. Down his body, curl and dot. We've got J, I, N, J, R. Hmm, what's our next sound? Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic if you said it was er uh, and it's here on our sound chart. So down his body and a dot for his head, down his back and curl over his arm. J I N J R B R E D. What's our next sound? Hmm. Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic if you said it was B and here it is on our sound chart. So down the laces to the heel and around the toe. B, R, E, D. What's our next sound? Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic work if you said it was er and here it is on our sound chart. So down his back and curl over his arm. J I N J R B R E D. What's our next sound? Hmm. Can you find it on the sound chart? Fantastic if you said it was E and here it is on our sound chart. So lift off the top and scoop out the egg and our last sound is D. Can you find it on the sound chart? Good job. So round his bottom, up his tall neck and down his tail. We are now going to write the next word, which is man. Let's sound it out together. Are you ready? M, A, N. How many sounds are there? Fantastic, if you said there are three sounds. 
Our first sound is mm. Can you find it on the sound chart? Well done. So before we write mm, what do we need to use? Is it a capital letter, a finger space or a full stop when we write a new word? Good job, it's a finger space. So mazy mountain, mountain. So mm, ah, mm. What's our next sound? Can you find it on the sound chart? Well done if you said it was ah, and here it is on our sound chart. So around the apple and down the leaf. And our last sound is mm. Can you find it on the sound chart? Good job. So down Nobby and over his net. Children, I would like you to draw the next part of your story and can you label the fox and the gingerbread man? Can you now finish the story and think about were you surprised by the ending? We would love to see a, a picture of your drawing of the next part of the story and we would love to see a video of you explaining what you think is going to happen next in the story. Can you share this on Evidence Me? Thank you, bye.